Hi, today I would like to share my experience with a machine learning project which I have been working in. I have shared some of the details about the project on other videos, but today I would like to say that we have basically failed to use the machine learning on that project and I would like to go through the journey, what we have done and where we are now. So we started the project using the soft actor model, machine learning, deep learning model called soft actor. You can check more details about it. I, would li I don't like to talk here. It's a long discussion, but it's basically using deep learning to teach a, l a model uh, how to take decision. What is the best decision to take? So you take a decision, you give a feedback. That's a good decision, bad decision. And by time, the model learns. When we start the project with soft actor, we did not have a clear plan and we don't have a clear understanding of the soft model and we don't know even if it will work or not. We don't have enough data graphs about the data. We do not understand the data in the right way. And that take us, okay, we move from the soft actor, it's not working, we push to do a regression, it's a deep learning regression model, then we added a classifier model. So a classifier model, so sorry, the prediction model will give us the predicted value and then classifier will say, okay, this value is bad, good, and so on. So we train both model and they are cooperating with each other to give us the best result. This again did not did not work, and we said, okay, let us move from deep learning to use machine learning. Machine learning again, I I think even deep learning have better result. Again, give us not the best result, and the main reason why we did not have a good result, I believe, is because we did not understood the data. We don't have a clear understanding for the data, so. If you, if you are going to use machine learning, you really need to understand the data, the distribution for the data, how the data is distributed, how we get the income, and what is the target and results we, are, we need. So in, in the case of the project I'm working in, we need the best price for tickets. That's what we need. So to get the best price for a ticket, we have gone through like soft actor, deep learning, machine learning, and Actually, it's much simpler than that. We already have a bunch of prices. We can just get the best price out of the prices we have. And that's all. We have even live prices. Or we can use a mathematical formula to get or rule-based model to get up the prices. No need for machine learning. This is something we, we, we can use later. But for now, there is no need to achieve that target. There is no need for machine learning. So not all the problems you can solve with machine learning or machine learning will be the best solution. If you have enough data, enough historical data, and you don't really have other way to predict the data, like let's say, I'll take ChatGPT as an example. We have a bunch of historical data. We have a lot of data in the internet. And then from all this data, I want to ask a question and get an answer. I don't like to dig inside all this data. I want somebody, something, a model, the machine to aggregate all this data and tell me that is the best answer you can get online. That's all. So such case, machine learning can make lot of sense. You, you must really have a clear understanding of the problem and a clear understanding for the solution, a clear understanding for the data, the input you have, clear understanding for the output you need. Cl very clear understanding. If you don't have such information, you need to do a research. And listen, learn, you don't fit the problem in the technology. Like I have a problem, I don't see, okay, I won't use this technology. So I get the problem, I fit it inside the technology. We have the problem, we fit the technology inside the problem. We say, okay, that is the problem we have. This technology will fit us. This technology, we can use it. This technology will solve our problem. 
but we don't have a technology and we say, okay, we have machine learning, that problem fit our, our model. That doesn't work. And it causes a mess. So we have been doing a lot of effort and the result is, is not what we expect. We just learned. Learning on job is wasting time, wasting money, wasting resources. You learn outside the job. If you are learning in the job, that's a waste. It's not something good. <laughs> So yeah, that's maybe another topic for another video, but yeah, okay. So I would, I wanted to share that, what we have gone through quickly and what are the lessons learned. See you in the next video. Hold on.